scene. One, two, point three. Hey y'all, Art is Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today we're working on a creative arts collaboration. Hashtag Think Pink Art event. Hey y'all. So anyway, that uh, bone crunching sound you hear in the background is indeed uh, some bone crunching going on. Champ has a uh, a bone, <laughs> not a bone folder, just just a bone. So I'm working on a 12 by 12 clay board uh, canvas, and you will find a complete list of ingredients in the description below, along with some linkage, because this uh, was inspired by. Cinnamon Cooney, <laughs> also known as the Art Sherpa, one of our great admins. So, any hoot, um, <laughs> I guess that pun was intended. Any hoot, and I'm doing an owl. <laughs> so, this um, there's my owl that I have drawn out, and it's on watercolor paper. And at first, I was just going to leave it on the water uh, on the paper, and then uh, you know collage it onto the clay board. And I thought, yeah. And then I thought, no, I'm going to do my typical. I'm going to paint on the watercolor paper with my acrylics. I know it's a little odd, but you know, so it goes with some people's style. You know, I got style. <laughs> so I claim. Anyway. Um, I decided that, yeah, I'll just cut them out, you know, paint it and then cut it out like I normally do when I, yeah. That's because that's what I do. So, any hoot. I'm again with the any hoot. <laughs> I know, if you don't like listening to me, feel free to turn your volume off. Okay? Because you can very clearly see what I'm doing. I'm just painting along and, um, yeah. The colors change a little bit. They're mostly pinks. Uh, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, this uh, hashtag event is also uh, in regards to all cancer awareness. And um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. So anyway, the the maroonish type color there. If it's maroonish on your camera, I don't know. Is is also a breast or not a breast cancer, but a cancer uh, color of a ribbon, uh, blood cancer. So any hoot. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say that? I don't know. When we get finished with our voiceover, let's count the ways, okay? And I'm um, painting along. I did some shading. I'm going to be using some stencils, which you shall see shortly. Um, what else? What else do I have to say? Oh, tracing paper, because I'm going to use the tracing paper as a mask. Uh, yeah, I can trace around it because I can see through it because it's tracing paper, y'all. And yeah, you're going to see me use that as a, as a mask in two separate ways. First, we're going to check. Uh, trim out the uh, the brass part. Be sure to keep your craft knives closed when not in use for your safety and protection. And the washi tape is just used to hold all that stuff down. This particular stencil has, I don't know, four, maybe five different designs. I chose the uh, doily looking one. So, and I'm just using a uh, makeup sponge to sponge some uh, more acrylic paint on there in a lot of color. Mm -hmm. And off and on, I use the heat gun because I'm a little impatient, but this project dis did last over several days. Uh, yeah, several day project. And uh, while, while I'm talking about the 12 by 12 clay board, it is, uh, the 12 by 12 was uh, well, sort of given to me by our local Art League, Conroe Art League, here in Conroe, Texas, y'all, the big country of Texas. And in November, we will be having a 12 by 12 gala, 
in which we will be auctioning off uh, both a live auction and a silent auction of 12 by 12s uh, that most probably, yeah, a lot of our Art League members have uh, done art on and uh, all the proceeds will go to for our funding of our Art League. So we need to raise some money, y'all. We will be having uh, the bid. The silent bids will start off at, uh, I believe, $25. And we will have a buy it now in case you don't want to do the silent bid. Are you doing it? You can buy it now. Um, not sure that the price has been set. I will be having more information on my blog later. Uh link below in the description along with the whole complete list of ingredients. This is a Patty Tolly Pear stencil. It is one of my favorites. Undonate. It's just fun to say that word. Undonate. It's kind of hard to spell. Thank goodness for spell check. Mm. And I'm using a, a deep purple there. Use whatever, you know, if you're going to do this project, uh, be sure to um, reference back to the Art Sherpa because she, she's she got an excellent tutorial video. And, uh, yeah, my total inspiration. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. Well, I could, but I won't. I choose not to. So I cannot. And um, I'm just doing some more shading and doing stuff like that. So, I've done uh, owls before. I've actually even carved an owl stamp. It's so funny, little owl. I should have showed y'all, but I didn't. So, that's okay. This one I have named Owl Lean. <laughs> because funny names just crack me up, people. And as you can see, uh, her eyes, because it is a girl. It's it's pinkish, okay? It's a girl. And uh, her eyes are going to be uh, basic same colorization, more or less, as the uh, as the canvas background, which is the, the clay board. Okay. It's for my first time to ever use clay board, and I will say that I had to use several coats. And I used um, not quite a wash on a... Uh, on my acrylic paint and I'm using a mixture of student grade and professional grade acrylic paints. Um, no craft paints were used in the making of this owl whatsoever. And uh, anyway, so I put a thin coat on going one direction and then I turned my board 90 degrees. <laughs> geometry. I turned my board and I did it the other direction and you know at letting each coat dry and then I did that like four times and then I used that uh, mask. It's actually that that vine thing was a mask you know meant to spray over but I daubed on with the makeup wedge. Uh, yeah. I don't necessarily use things the way they were intended to be used. Okay. <sighs> Now I'm cutting it out, which is my usual, that's, you know, that's usual for me when I, when I color or paint, not color, when I paint on my watercolor paper. I do, I do like doing this because I like the weight of the water, watercolor paper. I like the slight texture that's in there. And, uh, yeah. So now I'm going to be using these, uh, what's it, Recollections uh, spray ink and some glimmer or tattered angels glimmer mist this it happens to be some tattered angels uh mask here picked up at a good price from the tuesday morning so i'm just arranging them they're not necessarily for design they are just to add a little bit of texture and depth because this is uh the uh the paper i'm going to be using uh for my leaves so, yeah, and I'm going to be using a little embossing powder. I've done this kind of thing before. This is one of my favorite background uh, stamps. I don't know the name of it. Sorry. I think it may have actually originally been for uh, texturizing 
uh, polymer clay. Yeah, it's a little old. So, uh, here you go. That's to activate the embossing powder. And it didn't stick in all places, but that's fine. I'm strictly going for minute texture coloration change here. And here are my leaves all, all die cut out. And yeah, list of ingredients below, people. Now it's time to uh, paint the, the tree branch. I was going to go with uh, Zandra. She's going to have a link below, too. Her uh, paper towel tree is amazing. And I did try that, Zandra. I did. It just, it just didn't, it didn't work for me so well. So, I went back to paint it with the acrylic paint. I love how it looks. It looks pretty stinking good, if I say so myself. I was kind of surprised. I know it looks like a muddy mess now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes mud is good for you, you know, like when you get a facial and you get the mud mask and stuff. Now I'm going around the edge with uh, the dark brown, what is that? Uh, I don't know, uh, probably, um, probably some kind of umber. Remember when you're uh, going to edge your paper or whatever you're using, Go from the side or the back side with if you're using a pen with a pen if you're using your finger have the back side facing that so that if you slip you make a mess on the back and not the front. In this case it wouldn't have mattered because it just added a little more texture to the uh, tree branch. And I went around the whole thing and uh, it looked pretty good. To me, it looked pretty good. I guess the further you stand, the better it looks. <laughs> now I'm going to build up the center part of that because I want it puffed out just a little bit. So I'm using tacky glue to just stick uh, thin strips of uh, more watercolor paper right along the center part of the, the thickest part of that tree branch. And I'm kind of bowing it over. Bow it over, not bow, bow. And uh, that was a little glitch on my end. Okay, so now I'm applying uh, some matte gel medium. This is not the liquid runny kind. This is the thicker apply with the palette knife kind. And I'm applying it there. I'd already previously made a little tiny mark on the uh, clay board surface there, so I know exactly where I wanted it more or less. So yes, there's an edge there. I will be filling that edge in because these are these are totally unframed things. And um, now whoever purchases this, I will recommend that they have it framed because it is paper and you know, we don't want the paper absorbing dust and I don't know, whatever, everything paper absorbs this is. So now I'm dry, draw, uh, drawing, painting on some little uh, stickages and uh, Twiglies. Again, refer to the art sharper because, yeah, she's, she's way more, but I'm not teaching y'all, I'm just showing y'all <laughs> how I did it, okay? I'm pretty happy, it, and because the, uh, it was still wet, I was able to wipe it off with a uh, art wipe, also known as a baby wipe, okay? And, uh, yeah. Just drawing on, painting on. They're painted, people. These are painted. APG, use the word paint. Uh, painting on some extension of twiglets. And that's my owl turned upside down because I don't want to drip on it because, yeah. Now we're going to butter the back of the owl with our gel medium so we can stick her down. Fold that over so we don't have stickiness. And there she is. Smooch her out. Make sure you get all those bubbles out. Any kind of glue gunks underneath there. Um, yeah. And, uh, oh, God, I, put the, I almost forgot to put her feet on for crying out loud. And they were, I thought they were a little too, I don't know, long. So I trimmed them up. More or less the same. I didn't stick them, you know, 
they're almost mirror image. Excuse my head. You will see my head from time to time. And now you can see I'm adding a little black to the, the part I cut. And I went in from the back side. And I'm just going to butter the back of her feet. And down they went. Now I'm going to, uh, this is going to be a border around the picture. I, I'm not really a doodle person. So I kind of did a faux doodle. I took a, a sheet, you know, of my watercolor paper there ingredients below and I drew some lines light lines in an angle and I painted uh, black and white so as you can see and now I'm trimming them out to a quarter inch because that's how much I decided I wanted my little border like frame and uh, I did cut my ends to to the 12 inches with the 45 degree angle so that they would fit uh, more or less nicely together and I am buttering a strip of my black and white edging it kind of gets a doodle effect but I don't really doodle okay people it's faux doodle so I like how it came out I'm sure real doodlers are going to look at it and go oh you should have put this one that way and this yeah it's you know hey <laughs> we're talking about APG Jamie here okay Unique. I am eclectic and unique in my process. <laughs> so there we go. So there I'm um, sticking it down. And uh, it wasn't sticking so good with just the butter on the back of the paper. So I put some uh, of the uh, gel medium along the edge of the uh, clay board there. I'm having to trim that side just a little bit. It's just a little bit. You know, I'm not really that great of a measurer. I may be a good ruler or a good bossy pants, but not necessarily a good measurer. So, I love the look, this edge, because when I thought about this piece, finishing it, that, that's what I saw. I said, you know, one of those little black and white doodly edge borders would just be perfect. So that's what I did. And it came out so stinking cute. I just love it. I might have to buy it myself, y'all. Oh, head. <laughs> now, these are my leaves. Uh, I had three different types of leaves, all cut from the same thing. And I tried out different versions, and I couldn't decide because I loved them all. So I uh, sent some uh, pictures to my husband, and I made him pick. And these are the ones he liked and did best. Because I liked them all. And I was really, yeah. I could have put them all. But, yeah, he liked it, this one best. So that's what I went with. And uh, I slightly inked the edges um, of the leaves with sepia just to kind of, you know, raise them up just a little bit. And uh, that's the same gel medium I'm putting on the back of the leaves to adhere them down. Yes, I'm out of screen, and we're almost over, okay? I went back, and I did a little bit of shading uh, with the dark maroon and uh, the umber just a little bit to add a little veining to the uh, to leaves. I'm not sure if you'll even be able to tell, but uh, yes, there she is. Those feathers are not glued on yet because I want to, she needs to dry over three or four days, and then I will put my varnish and stuff on her and then the feathers will go on last as eyebrows so there we go we're wrapping it up i know darn near 20 minutes if you stayed with me this long thank you thank you thank you i really appreciate it please be sure to uh check out the uh ingredients and the links below in the description box for the art sherpa and xandra's uh youtube where you could see her yeah, with the great um, paper towel tree. So, thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.